You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. And uh, just because I, I still don't like suits and ties, we've got long sleeve <laughs> polo shirts. So it's winter here on Greater Brockton. Um, I have Paul here, Paul Engel from Brockton Public Library, our director. I can't really say new as much anymore. No, I'm coming up on my year, my first year. It's amazing. It's amazing. And a lot of good things have happened at BPL over the last year. Uh, new staff, mm -hmm. new staff in the children's room, new staff in, 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 in reference, uh, adult, adult services, which, okay, you got to be careful with the connotation <laughs> to that, okay? But, um, and, and just the library is a community center. It's a, it's, it's, it's a happy place Yes, where everybody can go and be equal. Now, one thing that's interesting is we are going to be losing one of our trustees, mm -hmm. Gene Bradley Duranancourt, to the city council. He got elected to the city council, but he got his start at the Brockton Public Library. Right. He learned to he learned English with Melise over at the library, and we have a strong program over there. And he said he's going to continue to be an advocate for us. So it's always good to have good. an advocate on the city council. That's we have a lot good. of them. Yeah, we do. One more won't hurt. But the library is a busy place in December, so I understand the first thing that's coming up is, uh, I guess, Santa's coming for a visit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Santa's coming for a visit this Saturday, mm -hmm. which is the 9th from 1 to 4. Uh, Santa will be played by yours truly, and I think that in itself is going to bring people in. <laughs> just okay, to I see want that. pictures. <laughs> I, uh, lots of pictures. We have to keep them. It'll, it'll go in your file. We can, you, know, you know how you have the pictures at Charles or Stop and Shop? It says our, our helpful, gracious staff are waiting to serve you. It's that will be, be your picture. It's going to be me and, okay. and Santa, yep. Okay. You <laughs> gave it away, though. That's okay. Okay. And also on Saturday, the local NAACP chapter, the Brockton Area Branch, has the AXO program, which is the young folks, right, right. some of whom have been gold and bronze and silver award winners from Brockton, yes. and they're promoting the program and getting people involved in the program. They're looking for adult volunteers and mentors and stuff like that, and they love our library because this is probably the fifth or sixth time they've been there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, in, in the coming up in one of these, we'll be doing a, a few months down the road, we're going to be hosting a pretty big AXO event, so okay. more on that later. Well, we'll bring you back for that. You, you, you have a regular seat here. You're, <laughs> you're going to be a frequent flyer. We're going to give you a card, and we're going to punch it every time I you come I want to be there. that 400th episode. There you go. Okay, there you go. Um, and then um, right after that, um, I guess there's something, I don't, I don't know, what's Code Connect? I, I don't know too much about well, that. Code Connect is, um, is basically uh, taking kids, young kids, and, and connecting them with... Uh, uh, software technology, and they're they're basically writing code from scratch, hmm. uh, and developing programs, and it's a fantastic program. We've been having it in the library for some time. I think there was something in the enterprise today about it too. So okay, and what date that. is that on? Uh, the eleventh. The eleventh is Code Connect. Okay, it's, now, in, it's in the computer lab down in the first floor. Okay, so we have a computer lab. We have a maker space. Right. We have a children's room. We have a historical room. There's something for everybody at the library. Art gallery. Okay, yeah. art gallery exactly. But Code Connect. Um, that's not for the people like me that use the software programs for dummies. No. That's the people actually constructing the code, yes. which is are the building blocks for technology going into the future. Absolutely. And if you get kids young, you watch these kids with these cell phones and, you know, they're three years old and they're flipping <laughs> them and moving them and sometimes they have to tell us old folks how to program them, right, or to fix them, right? That's right. There you go. Um, now, I mentioned the makerspace. The 12th, there's something going on in the makerspace. Right. What are they doing on the 12th? I just wrote down Makerspace, so you have the little flyer there. <laughs> we, we, we have a little newsletter that's mm -hmm. available. It's online, it's it's and there's paper copies if you want a paper copy. Yep. It's called Library Matters. You know, the 12th, I think, is just an advertisement for the Makerspace being open. I don't okay. think there's a specific thing going on, okay. but I'm sure that Pat Monteith will be there and Keith will be there, and they'll be, they'll, they are always doing something interesting there. Okay, there's all sorts of stuff going on there. Now, there's, uh, I mean, there's all sorts of clubs and activities right. that take place at the library. There were two dates in December for the ARC. Yes. They're there to read, and that's the, the 14th and the 28th? Yeah, the, the, we have ARC reading, group, reading clubs there uh, usually twice a month, every month. Okay. A very loyal, very um, uh, con committed group of people. And then we get to the 16th, and I'm going to pull my phone out, which is not going to ring, but it has a calendar on it. You know, all the <laughs> calendars now are on phones. Yeah. Well, I, I still have a paper one. I, I, I still do. 
Uh, as a matter of fact, I can give you one because we just got them for here. <laughs> if, if you happen to want one, but the 16th, which is also a, which is a Saturday as well, there's two events right. over there. The, the first one is Everyone Has a Voice. This will be the fourth installment of that we've had. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a poetry series that we've been running and will run continuously through June. Uh, Nicole Therese Dutton will be there. She's the first, uh, the inaugural Poet Laureate from Somerville. Okay. And she's going to be our feature. And we have Marcus Pyre, who's a Massasoit Community College student, who's going to also be there as, as our student. So we, usually what we try to do is have a, uh, a poet of renown from Massachusetts, and we pair them up with a student from the area. And we, if, if you missed the last one, it was phenomenal. And, and they just seem to be getting better and better. It's a, uh, just a great event. So we try to use all, as many of the spaces as, we, as mm -hmm. we have in the library on a regular basis. There's also a book group that day, too, that's happening? On the 16th? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, um, the end of your life. Um, um, that's going to be um, the Brockton uh, book group is, is talking about that. Uh, that's going to be in the trustees room in, in the morning from 10 to 11.45, I think. Which is a small room, but enough mm, 15 yeah, we people, could fit, maybe. Yeah, Throw roughly. a few chairs around the the. the uh, edge and you know uh, just bragging rights is the, the 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 furniture is vintage library furniture that's right and it was kind of sad and we gave it to the students over at southeastern regional where i'm on that school committee mm -hmm. and the kids refinished it it's it they're beautiful. old it's an old-fashioned table old-fashioned chairs but we decided to open our space because there's not sometimes the library every bit of it is utilized mm -hmm. we have a big large room that can subdivide into two, then we have a large conference room, then we have a small conference room, and we figured trustees room is sitting there, why not use that too, yeah. right? You get the historical room upstairs, you get the art yes, right. gallery, you got, we, we're, we're maxed out. We, we never thought when we expanded it and made it as big as we did that we would need more space. That's a good thing. That's a okay. Good thing. Hopefully we can get the branches open more and get some more funding for that, and then there'll be meeting spaces over there. That's right. You never know. Okay. Uh, and, and maybe re really down the road, you never know, we might be able to partner with the school system because right now the schools don't have middle school libraries. They we, have are, we are, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we are doing some fabulous things with uh, some of the local middle schools already. That have just started. Maybe we'll do another segment just on that. Okay. Sounds good. I'll bring it back <laughs> and we'll do, we'll do that. Now, to continue the immigration series at the library, We Are All Americans, is happening as well. I think that's on the 19th? That's on the 19th, you are correct, at 7 p.m., so a, a later start. And it's, it's patterned after um, Joseph's uh, uh, presentation. So his was 10, um, uh, 10 scenes from a life of an American immigrant uh, Haitian view, yeah. and this is 10 scenes of a life of an American immigrant, a Cape Verdean view. And uh, Tina Cardoso will be uh, our lecturer. And uh, if it's even close to Joseph's, it's going to be great. Yeah, and Joseph's was really good. I attended that and recorded it. Yeah. And uh, we're coming back. Um, we're going to record them, but you got to be there, okay? It's, yeah. it's, it's great to see it later on and see it relived on TV. It's a different experience when you're in the room. It is, because we're having them in the gallery, in the, in the, yeah. main, in the main lobby, I mean. So right. it's the 70 foot ceilings, it's a beautiful sound, it's, it's a, it is really a happening. It's a really a great event, well, we, a great space. We used that a lot in the past. Back in the day before the library was expanded, there was an auditorium on the second floor which we had to take mm -hmm. out. Okay, I'm getting the wrap up here. <laughs> so I think we're good for now, Paul. We're gonna bring you back for early January. Okay. And publicize more events at the library. Great, thanks Mark. Thanks for being here. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.